In this video, we're going to be learning how we can reverse a string without using any inbuilt methods. We have this variable called as string whose value is JavaScript. Now you need to keep in mind that um, each character in the string can be accessed uh, via the char at method or you can use the square bracket notation. Let me show you what I mean. I can say str dot char at zero. It'll return the character at the zeroth index. Or I can say str of zero. It is gonna still return the value at the zeroth index. So this shows that uh, strings at the end of the day are represented like array of characters. Now what we need to do is uh, because strings are array of characters, you can now start looping over your string and display each element at a time. Let me show you how. For example, uh, let me also have another terminal so I can shift between them. Here I can shift into this a node session and here I can shift it to the bash where I can write code. Now let us say that I'm going to be using a for loop. I'll say for let i is equal to zero because every character of the string starts at the zero at index i less than str dot length and i plus plus. When I do console dot log str of i, you can see what the what output I get. I say node um, reverse str dot js. You can see that uh, I'm able to print every single character that is there in that particular string. I can also specify at what index that particular character is found. You can see that these are all the characters that are found at certain indexes. Now I can play around with my for loop and shift the order of my looping. Because array started zero, strings value at the zeroth index also start from there. Now I can decide to uh, start my loop from the end of my string. And then I can come down. All right, so I can start uh, my index at nine, my i can become nine. And then I can keep decrementing my value of i. Now, str.length, as you can see, the length is 10. The length of the string is 10, but my, if I say uh, str dot length minus one is gonna be nine. As you can see, um, our t, which is the last character of the string is at the ninth index. So what I can do right now is I can now uh, rewrite my for loop. I can say for let i is equal to str dot length minus one. So what is the value of i become? i now becomes nine. I'll now say i should be greater than or equal to zero, right? Because I am now going to be coming from the descending order. Many a times whenever you're using the for loop, you're always uh, used to doing it from the ascending order from zero onwards. But if you want to reverse the string without using any inbuilt methods, you should be using the uh, descending order. You have to come from the end of the string. So you now say i is greater than or equal to zero. And then I will do a i minus minus. And let me do this. I'll do console.log str of i. I'll also print the value that is the a value at the ith index. So when I run this code, uh, let me just clear the terminal. I'll say clear. I'll now say node uh, reverse string dot js. You can see that you're now coming from the end of the string for your looping purpose. Right, so we somehow figured out how we can um, loop our string from the end. Now, the next thing that you need to be aware of is a concept called as string concatenation. Now, for example, let's say I have a output, which is going to be an empty string. I can now do output is equal to the character. Let me do this is equal to output plus the character A. You can see the output is now A. 
I can say output is equal to output plus the character B. You can see that it is AB. Meaning I'm now going to be performing string concatenation. So the way we can do that is we will now declare a variable called as output, which is going to be an empty string. And then we can now go ahead and say output is equal to output plus str of i. So because this is a looping mechanism, every single character keeps getting added to your output. And finally, you will want to return from you want to return output from your given function. When I go back, save the file. When I run the file, I'll say node reverse str.js. You can now see that the string has been reversed. And we achieved this without using any inbuilt methods. Let me try with another example. I'll say reverse string. This time I'll say Bangalore. I save the file. And when I run it, you can see that our strings have been reversed without using built-in methods of JavaScript.